Simon, a trip to Eastleigh tomorrow, sort of similar to last week's game against Notts County, we come up against a side who have got plenty to play for in this next couple of weeks. Yep, yeah, you know, I spoke to the boys this morning and uh, be a good test for us, as I said in the previous interview, you know, for me it's good, I'd like to see us play against the top teams, teams who stuff to play for, so you're getting highly competitive games against highly motivated teams and that's the level I want to see us operate at, so um, we know we, what we need to do, we know how we need to approach it and uh, we're looking forward to a good test. We can certainly take plenty of courage from our performances, particularly on the road against even Sutton, it was a narrow defeat and then other than that, that's, that's the only blot on the away day copybook so far. We can go there with, with confidence that we know we can be well drilled and we're particularly hard to beat. Yeah, absolutely. You know, we have a we've got a way of playing that that we've sort of suits us with what we've got. You know, as I say, our numbers are not huge. Um, we've, we're in a busy schedule. Um, although we've had a good week to freshen the group, we haven't got many back fit. Um, so we have what we have, and we're not going to moan about that. We've got a, we've got a good game plan, and we'll go there in positive frame of mind and, and look to win the game. It must be nice not to have a midweek fixture this week, to have seven days between matches. I think that's only one of the first few times since you've come in that we've been able to do that. Yep. It must be nice to be out on the grass and get onto, onto the training pitch. Yeah, and as I say, it's, it's difficult because we want to get as lots we've got to get into them. Um, we had some time this week, but the workload, you don't, you know, we need to freshen the group as much as we can. We can't afford to lose any more. Um, so we had a number who were high in fatigue, so we've we've managed them this week. We've done a lot of classroom-based stuff. Um, we had a good long meeting on Monday and went through some stuff from Saturday's game. Um, we refreshed well. We trained Tuesday. We had a good session, a uh, good recovery day Wednesday, and then we've had two good days training. Not a huge amount of hours, but you know some good tactical stuff we've got into the players, and yeah, it gives us a a fresh impetus to go into this next busy schedule, you know, it's now Saturday, uh, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, done. Um, so we've got stuff we've worked on this week that we can take into this next batch of games and, and see where that gets us at the end of the season. In this next couple of weeks, I guess that will sort of begin the start of those honest conversations that, between club and player in looking ahead to next season. From your point of view, what is the plan? On that side of thing. Yeah, listen, we uh, I told the boys, you know, I'm, I'll be honest with them as, as early as I can. You know, as we go at the minute, we're really low on numbers, so you know, we're looking at probably getting the season out of the way and then sitting down that last week. I think we've got a week to notify players whether we're keeping them or, or releasing them a week after the last game of the season. So yeah, we'll get that done as soon as possible once the season finishes. But. Yeah, listen, five good games, five good opportunities, uh, five good views for me, you know, to look. Um, so, yeah, lots lots to look forward to. Is that kind of nice that we're finishing against? We've got Sutton and Torquay who are going for for the league. We've got Solihull who are going well recently, made an Eddie Valley good season and then easily tomorrow. All teams who have who've had relatively good campaigns. Nice five tests to finish on for those for yeah. the players and for you to have a good look. <coughs> Absolutely, and and I mentioned, you know, on my post-match interview, I think on Saturday, I mentioned Weymouth, and that's no disrespect to Weymouth whatsoever. I think they've had a really good season, um, but you know, we got to look and we want to test against the best teams in this league because we ultimately want to be one of the best teams in this league. Now, we've got a long, long way to go to achieve that. Um, so, you know, it gives us a good opportunity, five good tests. Um, five good opportunities again for the players perfect and for me you know to watch them play in high pressure high motivated games is brilliant for me with tomorrow it's the last game behind closed doors at the moment for the rest of the season must be relishing those two away trips to come to Solio and particularly Torquay where going to the away game with, with the home fans up against us as well yeah, listen, it's a should be many occasions, you know, I've been this season watching lots and lots of games in in empty, cold uh, stands, you know, mm -hmm. and, and games and football's poorer for it, 
You know, I can't wait personally to get fans back. Certainly uh, a good test in them two away games. I think Solly, I've got 600, um, I read the other day. Uh, and Torquay, I'm not sure what they got, but they're always a good crowd there. And certainly in the position they're in at the moment, I'm sure they'll attract as many as they can in and, and, and make it as hostile as they can for us. And, you know, I love that. You know, it's what it's all about, you know, going into other people's backyards and, and, and trying to upset the odds. And, and that's what we'll be about from now to the end of the season. Um, again, for me, perfect way to finish with two home games in front of the Barnet supporters. You know, I hope uh, everyone's missed football as much as, as much as I have and the supporters being at games. And we can get two good attendances in last two games, as many as we can get in and we can try and make them a real good end to what's been a disappointing season for us. Just lastly, looking at tomorrow, just individually, is it about us showing another response again? Because I know you were really disappointed after Notts County last Saturday. Yeah, listen, every, after every defeat, you want a response. You know, you, you want to stop that negative at the next possible opportunity. And that opportunity for us is, is tomorrow. So it's one we'll be going into. We have a as I said, a way of playing, we've got a plan how we can be successful and, and we'll try and implement that the best we can. And uh, yeah, and the good thing for us, if that's not right, we get another opportunity on Tuesday and, and so on and so on. So lots of good opportunities, lots of um, obstacles to overcome. You know, we've got hopefully after the weekend, we might have one or two back. Um, Josh Walker's been doing really well. So maybe, you know, back end of next week, we may look hopefully to introduce him back into the, the match day squad, which would be a, a huge plus for us. So yeah, it's a, lots to look forward to hopefully for the last